you know, this is like semi-historic today. It's yeah, absolutely. I believe this is the first live music we've had in the studio post-pandemic in years. So it's it's literally literally been years. years, and it yeah. was a pretty regular thing for us. So we're excited that uh, these ladies are representing that live music. We were playing some uh, uh, music from them last week on the show, and we're excited that they're just stopping through town. Just say hello mm -hmm. and play. Please welcome. Uh, Alejandra, Danielle, and Paulina from The Warning. Yeah. Hello. Good morning, Hello. guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Yes. We're so glad you made it here. And and just stopping through, right? You guys aren't playing in town, are you? Oh, we, we played, played yesterday. yesterday. You played last yeah. night. Yeah. Okay. Where's where the gig last night? In uh, the Brook and Bowl. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. How was that? Was that cool? It was, it was awesome. Great. We had a bowling alley literally in the same venue. That was crazy. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's always cool, did right? You go, yeah. Did you go throw any, did you, did you bowl at all while oh, you were there? Yes. Yeah. I lost in first place. You lost? Yes. I lost in first place. Yes. Lost and first place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There you go. See, if you can put that thing. ball toes off, that's a cool thing exactly. to do. Uh, so uh, the three ladies here are sisters, and uh, is your last name pronounced uh, Villarreal? Is that how you say it? Yes. I got you it. How about yeah, that? Big round of applause for that? Two years of Spanish, junior high school. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good. Yes. Mm, you guys bueno. one time. <laughs> it paid off this once. <laughs> um, no, but you, you guys are uh, born in Mexico? That yes. Okay. We okay. live there as well. We're and, Mexican. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, so here's uh, the question, because we're just learning about you guys. Um, you had a viral video uh, that hit, and it was you guys playing, uh, covering Metallica. Yes. How old were you at the time when you did the oh video? Oh, my God. I don't remember exactly how old we it were. It was 2014. 14. 14. So I was 14. So oh. I was 12. And I, was, I was nine. Oh, oh my God. God. That's God. We were That's... tiny. We were yeah. really yeah. little. Tiny yeah, babies. Yeah. But it took off. I mean, it took it off did. like crazy, like millions and millions. I think was it the last tally is someone upwards of 28 million views or something like that. Oh my Some God. I didn't know that number. No. <laughs> yeah, that was basically what started our whole career as musicians yeah not so, only that it, you, you end up on metallica's own radar they're they're they, yeah. they're thrilled with it yeah. uh, and, and everyone getting kudos but it progresses right preston and it yeah. was a cool for so full circle moment because yeah. now last year we were able to participate with our own version of enter salmon in the metallica blacklist album which is the 30th anniversary <laughs> of the black album oh so it's just Oh, we started with amazing. that song, and now we have our own version for our Metallica album. That's amazing. It's amazing. Who who posted the video? Was it one of your parents? Or? Yeah. 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 No kidding. No yeah. no kidding. Wow. Yeah, we posted yeah. videos on YouTube for, like, our grandparents to see them, and then suddenly millions of views. Well, Dad amazing. Dad certainly deserves a rare spot in the uh, in the liner notes, right? Of course. Uh, that's very cool. All right, so uh, to to run down who does what in the band, for those who may not uh, know, uh, Alejandra plays bass. Yeah. Uh, Danielle is the uh, guitarist. Yes. And uh, Paulina, the drummer. I'm the drummer. Fellow drummer, thank you very much. Drummers. Totally, yes. man, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Who started first? Who got involved in music first? Uh, well, it was the same time. Yeah, but Pau and I at the same time because Halle was just I a was too young. baby <laughs> yeah. when we Three. learned to play piano. Yeah. So we started it off, and then Halle was just like, "I want to." Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I want in. All right, and then, but at that point, you know, uh, sometimes you know siblings can get involved in the same activity. It doesn't mean they want to do it together. <laughs> um, yes. Were you playing with other people or just always you three? No, it was basically we all played individually. It was never a group thing. It was only after Alice started playing the bass when she was like, I don't know how old you were. Was seven. I like seven, eight? Well, oh my God, okay, yes. <laughs> that we started like, oh, we can play these instruments together. Yeah. And that's just kind of how it started out. Did yeah. you all like rock or or what? What, what I assume there are multiple, everyone always has multiple influences, yeah. but were you all rockers right from the get-go? Yes, because our parents are rockers. But basically, we listened to a lot of different types of music, but it was the video game, the rock band, that really got us into rock. And that was the reason why we started playing the instruments we play today did songs of yours end up on eventually yes, how, cool song that? how cool is that how cool is that it was we have two songs on rock band four which is insane <laughs> do you play your own song we tried. We, we, did. <laughs> we failed. We, 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 we were horrible at it. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> you couldn't play your own song. We couldn't. That's crazy. That's funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> How well do you guys get along? Because uh, we get along really well. Do you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because you're females, you're sisters, you live together. You like that's that's a yeah, lot of <laughs> a lot of time spent together. No, but but honestly, we're best friends, and uh, we make like this is a really hard 
um, career to have sometimes. Yeah. But I feel like we manage it so well because we communicate with each other really well because we're sisters. And it's just a really nice environment to be in. We well, feel very comfortable. If you stop and think about it, I mean, it's, it, the, the the industry can be pretty predatorial and it can eat people up. And, and to have people that, you know, I mean, you're not going to get anybody closer than family to watch exactly. your back. Yeah. So well, the reason I ask is because the world of rock is littered with with uh, brothers and sisters that have hated each other oh, yeah. over the years. The, 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 the Gallagher brothers from o Oasis and the, the Davies from the Kinks and the Black Crows. Yeah. And so that, but you know, none of We're that good. for you. None of that with you guys. Yeah. You guys love each Nothing other. Nothing but love. <laughs> We can definitely yeah. tell that. That's cool. So uh, as far as, and we're going to get you guys to play uh, the song Money here in a moment because uh, it's awesome. Uh, first of all, uh, who does the majority of the writing? Do you guys work together? Does one of you write the songs? How does that work out? So we write the songs, the three of us together. Mm -hmm. I, the drummer, usually start the songs in the piano. If I have a melody, lyrics, a, a little bass of something, I show it to them and then we start working on it, the three of us together. And that's usually where the song takes off. But it's a really cool process. But talking about the sister thing, that's usually where we fight the most. Yeah. Oh, with writing. the songwriting? Yeah. Yep. Do, do, they yeah. all agree. Do, do you have a good, so the, if you set the parameters and say, okay, we're going to fight, but we're fighting for the same cause, so does that how you get yeah, set yeah, how it works? Yeah, kind of like Okay. That. And at the end of the day, music is just opinions and right. tastes. So it's just kind of like balancing our opinions until we reach a middle ground. Okay. And that's what we've been doing so far. <laughs> it's got to be hard awesome. because you 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 write something that that you like that it yes. but mm -hmm. the other people aren't the other two might not be hearing it exactly. and they have to choose am I going to be honest that I don't really like this or am I <laughs> yeah. just going to say and yeah that's we, good. We usually choose yeah. the honesty and path. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. And it's crazy to kind of try and describe and pitch your idea cuz you hear it in your head but no one else is hearing that so yeah. it's just like so you kind of had to like sell your point without having an actual point if that makes any uh, sense no I, anthony yeah. kiedis i remember i was watching was it maybe behind the music or whatever and he was talking about under the bridge you know and when he came to the rest of the band he was sure they were gonna hate it and they didn't quite they didn't quite get it but they didn't they said okay let's let's work this and, and he said mm. that's when he felt this is my band we're a band like they didn't mean they may not understand it right now, but they're going to work with me to get what I want to get out. So yeah. you guys have that yeah. same that's dynamic? That's the whole thing. Yeah. That's exactly it. Yes. Yeah, that's very cool. What about what about your parents? Do they have an in, say in the music at all, or they leave it up to you guys? Oh, they leave it up to us, definitely. Right. Yeah, like they really support us throughout mm -hmm. the whole process, but the like that's our thing. Yeah. Okay. We'll give honest opinions, though. Yeah. yeah. Good. So that's yeah. good. Well, okay. and I feel like with family, too, like parents and then especially siblings, there's no, like, you can be honest. Like, I, I'm just thinking yeah. about talking to my brothers. Like, I would never sugarcoat anything with them. I'm like, no, you're yeah. being a jerk right now. Like, she doesn't <laughs> sugarcoat with us. Yeah. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you guys are, let's, uh, we're going to talk some more, but let's get some music, okay? Oh, okay. We want to hear money, and uh, if, if that's cool, yes? Of course. We actually are going to mix it up a little bit. Okay. I usually sing the song. Pao's going to sing the song today, so you the get like a, gonna sing. a special Woo. edition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> an and an acoustic version of yes. the song. As All right. Well, it's so. an exclusive here on the Preston and Steve Show. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Warning with Money on MMR.
Wow. You're not the singer? You're not the lead singer? <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. That is the, Jesus. the lungs on you, the power that you've got, that's crazy. By the crazy. way, you're yeah, all very know. diminutive here, so yes. the fact that that came out of you, any of you, is amazing. Oh what were you going to say, Danielle? That, yeah, her lung capacity is amazing. She sings like that while playing the drums. Wow. Every oh, yeah. night. So, <laughs> yeah, It's fun. It's fun. That, ha, I yeah, can't, yeah, I can't yeah. even, <laughs> <laughs> Here's me, brother. Hey! <laughs> now, that's awesome. Uh, what a great sound. Man, oh, man, I'm, I'm blown away. No, they, they, they're phenomenal. Like we heard said, the song initially, we're like, Holy crap. Like you said, diminutive, small yeah, yeah, in stature, yeah. but huge <laughs> in sound. And you guys are going to be with some other powerful voices later on. You're going to be uh, uh, joining uh, Pretty Reckless, Hailstorm, Lil yes. Czar. Amazing. Yeah. That's like a hardcore rock chick fanatic uh, yeah. show set. We're so excited about that. First of all, we're honored to be part of that tour and to be opening for like these fans that we admire so much and just to learn from them i feel like that's the most exciting part about touring with other bands yeah just learning from them and they're just so amazing how about yeah. lizzie hale's voice man oh that's crazy insane. right it's insane yeah, yeah. i so love much, her so, so much so have we're you, excited about that have you had a chance to to interact and mingle with any yeah. of them yet okay yes. cool. we actually uh, met during the pandemic through zoom, through zoom. yeah, yeah. Okay. in an yeah. event that we were in together um, and she's the nicest person. She's We've, so sweet. Yes. Yeah. So you, you mentioned learning from them. You guys, did you guys give a couple of TED Talks yourself as far as... Yes. Oh, my God. About oh, get yes. the industry? We, we did. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was back in, like, 2016 and 17. Were you nervous? Yeah. Yes. yes. Like, we were <laughs> really nervous. 14 and then, like... You know, we so playing, young. it's our thing. Yeah. We love yeah. to do that. But, but like, talking... talking yeah. Give, like, with, a with, whole with presentation. It's nerve-wracking. Yes. With the instruments and the band, the sound system, you got kind of a comfort zone. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But but exactly. just a microphone and speaking to an audience. Yes. I'm going to put you guys in the top 5% of any band we've ever had in here for conversing and everything. So you yes. got it. Oh, Don't you. worry about yes. it. You, you've got personality to spare. Mm -hmm. But I know what you're saying at TED Talk and you were you were addressing the industry, right? And and, and getting involved. Yeah. That's cool. We love to see this. I don't think the time has ever been better, at least in, as far as we can remember, to have all these um, rocking female bands that are really killing it you know, c coming into the arena, so you to, and you're on the on the younger end to say, hey, a anybody can get through that door. It's pretty nice. cool. To have you, uh, uh, what do you, what are your, what's your fan base like? Describe your fan base. Is Our it, fan base. It's okay. crazy because it's, it's like a mix of everything. Yeah. It's like, a very familiar fan base, I think. Yeah. Well, is it? That's how you say familiar. Oh, familiar. Familiar. That's the word no, that's in Spanish. Not, no, it's not. It's, not. it's, not. it's um, like a. Family. Familial. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, um, it could go like to older rocker um, people. Yeah. Like when they first Grew saw us with, with the Metallica cover, like yeah. they, they got really into that. And when we released our own music, they were also like hooked on that. And they, they're just so amazing. But we also have a younger crowd. Mm -hmm. But we also have like a really younger crowd. That's like cool. the older crowd will with their bring kids. their grandkids. Yeah. And everything. And it and really varies amazing. also, like, by country. Like, <laughs> in Mexico, in our, like, home country, it's, like, usually, people like, younger our age. people yeah. our age. But here, we really do see, like, a really wide variety of Okay. I, I think it's cool because, it's, you know, because this is the lifeblood. This station has a, you know, multi-decade history of, of, of rock. And, and, I mean, you know, when uh, Stairway to Heaven came out, that was, debut, you know, it was being played as a current here. Wow. So it blows, blows your mind. So... The fact that this, I mean, this always makes us smile because this bodes well for the future of rock, that you guys are doing straight yes. up real rock. Yeah. Very much Thank so. You. Yeah. All right, so I have a question, you guys, and this is going to sound a little creepy, but you guys are young, attractive oh. girls. How do you handle the the creeper level, like uh, somebody like me? Saying something like that. No, but I mean, it, listen, because so we have this uh, this group's going to be playing our, our big festival show, the MM Barbecue, Froggy, and they're young as well, three awesome. piece female group, oh, nice. and I've I've seen them on social media going, guys, stop with the comments, you know, online and so on that that yeah. kind of cross the line, and I'm sure with you know you guys being young and your parents being involved, it's got to be it's got to be a little. How, how do you process that? I mean, you just... the internet is crazy. We always, I mean... Yeah, since we started on the internet, I feel like we've... Like, it's something sad, but, like, you see it all the time. Yeah. And you kind of, like, get the sensibilized to it. But we started out, like, our parents, like, really protected us throughout Good. the whole thing. And they still yeah. do. Basically, it's just surrounding yourself with a team that can really help you through it. Because sometimes it could be, like, 
really weird like yeah. it can be yeah. Yeah. but at, and also like we the three of us we protect each other mm-hmm. and like we always make sure that if something is happening that we can help each other and out crazy to think about but we started 10 years ago so we have <laughs> yeah. yeah we have yeah, we have uh, seen yeah, i mean you, you guys are, are seasoned pros at this point <laughs> well, uh you know it, so, it, yeah. it's funny when you think about it though and i, I forget who is uh, there's another ted talk as a matter of fact talking about how social media is used and who's using it there's a, the, a small percentage of people seem to get the most air on social media when you realize mm-hmm. that's not the vast majority of people who are these some of these derelicts and perps and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That the, you know, that, that's that's a side thing. And I always, mm-hmm. our our mindset is just remember the source, remember the kind of person who'd get who'd get that way and just dismiss them because it seems yeah. like on every other level, the fans and what we read the comments and stuff all huge and, and they love you. By the way, here's a here's a comment I think you guys will like. A text that came across it says that song was something you might hear in the intro of a James Bond movie. Oh, <laughs> stop. Stop. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, Billie Eilish just got, uh, they won yeah. the Oscar yeah. for the uh, yeah. Bond movie, which yeah. is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I know you guys are headed to Baltimore. Do you have a show tonight or tomorrow night? Or do you tomorrow even know where you're going? Night. It's tomorrow night. Okay. Yes. So you need you got, some rest. You got a day off, yes. which is cool. You did us a favor today. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, listen, we're very, very impressed. This is excellent. And we thank you uh, for coming by this morning. One more time for you. Could I get a, hey, one more time? Hey! For- <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, you guys are the best. Stop by here anytime, please. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank, thank you so much. much. You'll have our undying support. Let's hear it for Alejandra, Daniela, and yeah. Paulina. Yeah. Thank you, guys.